is LBO fam. This is a video that I've been talking about bringing to you guys for um, for a while. I knew this was coming. Everybody pretty much knew it was coming in the car community, but it's here. And what I'm talking about is the end of a, a big era, a legendary era. Um, the end of the horsepower wars as we know it. And it was kicked off by Dodge and Speed Week. They started out really cool with Speed Week with giving all of these YouTube influencers Hellcat Red Eye engines and Tremec six-speed transmissions to go with them and told them to choose a Dodge of their choice to put the engine and transmission in. Okay, so we will have cops right here. But so they gave them the engine and transmit. They gave them the engine and transmission. A lot of people chose a lot of different types of vehicles and stuff to put their engine in. And uh, that part was really, really cool. And then came this three-day reveal thing they're doing with the, uh, what they did with the cars. They unveiled some new cars, unveiled some new products they had going on. Like I'm sure everybody's seen by now. If you haven't, maybe you're seeing it here for the first time. They dropped a new little SUV this little hybrid SUV, it's electric and hybrid. Um, you can get whichever version you like called the Hornet. And you know, eh, whatever to that. Okay, so you know, they make these promises of showing us something really cool later on in the, uh, realize I'm speaking of God's way there. Um, they make promises to show us something cool later on. And let me set my rules, man, before I get a ticket. Okay. And what they show us, um, the big unveiling was for the new electric Dodge Charger. Okay. I mean, and they said that they're gonna make the Durango Hellcat again for the last year. First of all, if I got a Durango Hellcat, I'm pissed off because y'all supposed to be making it for one year. Then they did that Lamborghini thing where they are making money off something and the demand is high and they go back on their word and they start back producing the vehicle that they said they were gonna only make such and such amount of. So. Anyway, that's that. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's cool. They still got the Hellcat Durango, I guess. But it just kind of sucks for you if you're a collector and you got this vehicle as a collector's item, and they end up making more of them. The '69 Charger thing was cool, making that all carbon. That that that'd be really awesome to have. But that's not a new car. And then. You know, the, one of the first unveilings they did was a charger and making it seem like it was going to be an OEM convertible charger. That is not an OEM convertible charger. That is a company that they send the car to and they cut the top off of it. <laughs> People been doing that since the, since the, the Challenger came out. And I said Charger, excuse me, Challenger. Hey guys, how you doing? Joe at Allen Ed's Auto Sound with the 2011 custom convertible Dodge Challenger. This job was done by Newport Conversion Engineering in Newport, California. A convertible Challenger. Yeah, we're giving y'all, no you're not giving anybody a convertible Challenger. You're sending it to one of those companies. We wanted to, people wanted to see a OEM convertible Challenger, not that. We could have, everybody's been doing that already. It's nothing new. They act like they came up with the idea. 
crazy. Okay. But back to what we were saying about the electric charger. You got an electric Dodge charger and you come out with it making car noises. Boy, that was so corny. That was so lame. I show y'all. We've been having we've been had electric cars that can make that make car noises. And I'm gonna show you one real quick. I mean, like, really? What what are they thinking? Teslas do that already. You can download a sound to your Tesla if you want it to sound like a car. That's nothing new. I guess it is nice that it looks like, it actually looks like a charger. So as far as electric vehicles go, it's not, it's not the worst. But to me, they dropped the ball. They had one more chance to make the Holy Grail charger. They had one more chance to just make, just make it everything it can be. And you might say, Joseph, Charger already has 807 horsepower. You can get an 807 horsepower Charger. Yes, you can. Yes, that's amazing. Yes, they are badass. Yes, that's great. But have you seen a uh, Hellcat Red Eye Racer M5 CS? I put it in one of my videos before. I'm gonna have to put that clip in one more time so y'all understand what I'm talking about. You dropped the ball again for 2023. Why could we not have an all-wheel drive Hellcat Red Eye? It would have been Dodge's capstone. Just all-wheel drive Hellcat Charger Red Eye. They don't hook up. You got all of that pop, they don't hook up. Not from a dig, it's a roll. It's a fast car from a roll. But you got you got all of the competitors out here, the competitors out here killing you with this M5. They're killing you off the line with these Audis. They're killing you off the line with these Benzes with all wheel drive. all-wheel drive charger red eye man it, 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 it would have been awesome they could have did that it, it's even worse because they make all-wheel drive chargers and they make all-wheel drive challengers they just don't make them with any horsepower not any real horsepower oh but you know we're at the end of an era and you know what the horsepower wars is over i like to take a look back to really who kicked off the modern horsepower wars and i'm interested to think uh i'm interested in who you think it is so drop that in the comments to who you think started the horsepower wars um the modern horsepower wars you know back in the Back in the 60s, 69, I believe it was, GM kicked it off hard um, when they came out with the uh, ZL1 Camaro. Yes, ZL1 Camaro came out in 69. Um, but the modern horsepower wars was like, it was so cool how Ford did it because back then when the when the Camaro punched them in the face with that ZL1, when they came back out with the ZL1 for 2013, Ford snuck up on them. It was no buzz about the car. Nobody had been talking about it. Ford snuck up on them and dropped the GT500. Had almost 100 more horsepower than the ZL1. Just nasty the way they did that. It was crazy. So. Um, that's who I believe kicked off the modern horsepower wars and uh, Dodge finished it, you know, horsepower wise, they finished it. They came out with an 800 
and 40 horsepower car in 2018 called the Demon. Something else that was an old car that, that, that was back in the 70s, I believe. And they actually dropped the car because of the name, you know, and uh, church people weren't, you know, they didn't like that uh, car being called the uh, Demon. Yeah, they brought that back, 840 horsepower. Said that was gonna be a one year thing. And then basically started producing it again with the Hellcat Red Eye. Hellcat Red Eye is nothing but a demon with wide body wheels on it. Um, for the most part. There are some differences, but the, the, the differences are so minuscule and small that it, they're not even worth mentioning. If you got a red eye, you got a demon. But um, Ford came strong with the GT500. And we have a lot of... Uh, we have a lot... We had a, we had a lot of... We had a lot of cars come through in these modern horsepower wars. And, and really, you know, really open our eyes and we were able to have fun uh, and are able to have fun. We can continue to have fun with these cars for years to come as I back in right beside the Hellcat Red Eye in um, F8 Green. None wide body. Very good looking car. Clean as hell. When these down pipes go back on, though, he's going to have to show me what's up. gonna have to show me but um yeah man end of an era I'll probably cry one day about this when I'm sending some boring ass electric car wishing it rumble wishing I could feel it change gears wishing I could hear it cam we are we are right here we at the end of it so I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say hope you learned something I hope I didn't leave a hole in my story when I was talking because I have a tendency to do that. But um, you guys have a good one. I'm going to go in here and get this workout in. And until next time, FBO fam, I'm out.